Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Roland the Prayer Kindling and we're back with another unboxing video. This time, we're featuring the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. On the back of the box, it says, The Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. The 65 beautifully illustrated cards in this deck will create a powerful bridge between your psychic abilities and the ancient knowledge and meanings of the tarot, and will help you develop intuitive insights about all areas of your life, including love and relationships, business matters, and even career changes. This fascinating deck will work for you whether you're a novice or are already in tune with your psychic abilities. In the accompanying guidebook, Psychic medium John Holland imparts techniques that he's practiced himself and taught in his workshops relating to colors, symbology, shapes, words, card spreads, divination, numerology, energy centers, imagination, and more. By using the cards, you'll be able to incorporate John's techniques when you do a tarot reading for yourself or others. The cover art is by John Matson. The cover design is by Brin Star Best. So I think this is a really interesting deck because it is a combination of tarot and oracle cards. So when you open the box, the first thing you'll see is the guidebook that comes with it. And as you can see, the cards are neatly stacked and it's bound by a piece of paper so that they won't scatter around. The cards themselves have a gold lighting on the edges, which is really neat. Though I did hear that it fades after quite some time, especially if you shuffle them a lot. But I do think it's really nice. Isn't that pretty? So I first encountered the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck when I was training at Mysterium Philippines. I think I first saw this when I took up my Intuitive Awakenings class because at the beginning of every class, we are instructed to pick a card out of a deck that we're using that day and I really resonated with a card that I picked that day so I went ahead and asked Sir Rob of Mysterium what deck he was using and he showed me the box and it was this one. I think the designs on the back of the cards are really pretty too. I love the color. The first card that you will see is the number zero, New Beginnings, which is the equivalent of the full card in the Rider Waite Smith deck. Now, let's proceed to the guidebook. On the back, it has the same description or excerpt that's written on the back of the box. It also includes a short background story on the author John Holland. It says, John Holland is an internationally renowned psychic medium and teacher who lectures, demonstrates, and reads for private clients, and who has spent more than 20 years developing his abilities. He's been featured on the History Channel, A&E, Unsolved Mysteries, and in numerous articles, as well as becoming a familiar voice on radio stations throughout the world. He's the author of the bestsellers, Born Knowing, Psychic Navigator, and Power of the Soul. So, let's just do a quick browse through the guidebook. So upon opening, there's the title, and then there's a list of other Hay House products that were created by John Holland. Hay House is the publisher of this deck, by the way. So there's the table of contents, where you can see the list of the cards, the major and the minor arcana, the chakra cards, and then there's the introduction and the short message written by John Holland. So there's a section in the booklet that will help you understand the actual structure of the cards. So you get 65 cards, 22 of them are Major Arcana, 36 of them are Minor Arcana, and then you get 7 Chakra cards. It explains how you will get started and oh look there's actually 3 examples of card spreads that you can use. And then the rest of the book consists of the illustrations and meanings of the cards as well as their traditional tarot archetypes. So, it's really beginner friendly. However, if you're just starting out, I would recommend for you to start with a more traditional deck at first, just to learn the standard structure. So, without further ado, let's proceed to the flip through.
So from the flip through, you may have recognized some of the cards. If you observed them, you would have noticed the different colored borders. They actually have their respective meanings and correspondences. The black borders are seen in the major arcana and the seven chakra modes. The red cards represent physical things, such as earthly material possessions. In traditional tarot, this is the suit of pentacles. The green cards deal with emotions and feelings, much like the suit of cups in traditional tarot. The indigo cards represent mental aspects such as ideas, thoughts, decisions, as well as problems and obstacles. This would be the suit of swords. The cards with violet borders represent spirit, which deals with passions, obsessions, inspirations, and aspirations. This is very much like the suit of wands. One thing I've noticed is that there are no tens. The cards are only numbered from numbers 1 to 9, and again, there are no court cards. With regards to the chakra cards, according to John Holland, they represent the energy points in our body. And when you draw one of these cards, it's a reminder for you to be aware of this particular energy center. It's asking you to check on your balance or imbalance. For example, if you draw the green card, which is the heart chakra, you may want to observe your emotions. How are you feeling? How are the emotional aspects of your life? Overall, I think it's a really personal deck. It can be enjoyed by both beginners and even seasoned tarot readers. So whether you're into more traditional decks or you're into the whole new age kind of oracle decks, this would be a good addition to your collection. Personally, I really like it and I think I'll have a lot of fun doing readings with these. So that's it for my unboxing video. If you enjoyed this, please give it a like and maybe share it or maybe leave a comment. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any decks that you would want me to review or share, uh, do let me know. So thank you for tuning in. See you next time.